Then, please explain to me what the 4th to 11th dimensions are that we cannot observe. Here is the explanation of dimensions from the 4th to the 11th dimension, which are not directly observable. 4th Dimension The 4th dimension is the space-time in which our universe exists. It consists of three spatial dimensions, representing front-back, left-right, up-down directions, and one time dimension. 5th Dimension the fifth dimension adds a new dimension to the fourth dimension. While not directly observable, string theory suggests the existence of the fifth dimension as necessary for unifying all matter and forces into a single theory. Sixth dimension. The sixth dimension adds another dimension to the fifth dimension. It is not directly observable but is proposed by string theory as crucial for unifying gravity and electromagnetism. Seventh dimension. The seventh dimension adds one more dimension to the sixth dimension. It is not directly observable but is claimed by string theory to be necessary for unifying strong and weak interactions. Eighth dimension. The eighth dimension adds another dimension to the seventh dimension. It is not directly observable but is argued by string theory to be required for the stability of space-time in an 11-dimensional hyperspace. Ninth dimension. The ninth dimension adds a new dimension to the eighth dimension. It is not directly observable but is proposed by string theory to describe various shapes and vibrations of strings in an eleven-dimensional hyperspace. Tenth dimension. The tenth dimension adds another dimension to the ninth dimension. It is not directly observable but is suggested by string theory as necessary for unifying all matter and forces into a single theory. Eleventh dimension. The eleventh dimension is the most extensively studied in string theory. An eleven-dimensional hyperspace offers the potential to unify all matter and forces into a single theory. It is seen as a solution to various cosmological problems, including the origin and evolution of the universe and the issues related to cosmological constants. These extra dimensions, from the fourth to the eleventh dimension, are not directly observable but are postulated within the framework of string theory. They play a crucial role in the potential unification of all aspects of the universe into a single theory, and their existence is assumed based on the requirements of string theory. So, are there more than 12 dimensions? The existence of dimensions beyond the 11th dimension is a possibility, but it is not confirmed or ruled out definitively. In the framework of string theory, the 11th dimension is currently the most prominent candidate, but the possibility of dimensions beyond that cannot be completely excluded. If dimensions beyond the 11th exist, they would be unobservable directly, making it challenging to provide direct evidence for their existence. However, indirect evidence and theoretical arguments can suggest the potential existence of dimensions beyond the 11th. For example, the 12th dimensional representation in string theory offers the potential to address various cosmological problems, such as the origin and evolution of the universe and issues related to cosmological constants. Such possibilities imply the existence of dimensions beyond the 11th. Additionally, theories like quantum gravity propose the need for dimensions beyond the 11th to describe fundamental laws of the universe. These arguments indirectly suggest the existence of dimensions beyond the 11th. It's essential to note that these possibilities are still speculative, and confirming the existence of dimensions beyond the 11th would require further research and empirical evidence. On the other hand, some argue that the 11th dimension alone may suffice to explain all matter and forces in the universe within the framework of string theory. In conclusion, whether dimensions beyond the 11th exist or not remains an open question that will require ongoing research to determine.